What's up guys? Hope everybody's doing amazing. Today I'm giving you a couple tips to improve your experience using this thing right here, Expert Serum. The first tip for the day, let's make serum velocity sensitive. By default, the sin does not react to MIDI being louder or quieter. So let's address that. Starting from the init preset, you got two options. The first one is to link the velocity modulator to the oscillator A and the oscillator B level. You can also link it to the noise and the sub level. What you want to do next is bring the level all the way down so that when the velocity is at zero, the level is also at zero. Then you want to push the amount of modulation all the way up using this little icon right here. Just click it and drag it up. You can also go in the matrix tab and that would be the same thing as taking the slider and putting it all the way to the right. So that's a hundred percent. Basically what this means is that volume can go from zero percent to a hundred percent depending on what velocity you're playing. A couple notes on the piano. We can hear it's now velocity sensitive. This approach is nice because it gives you a lot of control on each oscillator's level. The technique I just showed made serum velocity sensitive before the effects section. If you're looking for more of a global master velocity sensitiveness, I got you. What you need to do is navigate to the effects tab and load up any effect that has a mix knob. And I'm gonna hit you with that secret sauce, so make sure you mutilate that like button, click on the mix knob, and it becomes a level knob. The level knob allows you to gain stage in the effects section, which is super nice. Even if you turn the mix all the way down, the level knob still works. So let's get back to what we wanted to do, make the synth velocity sensitive. In order to do this, simply drag the velocity modulator to the level knob of the last effect in your chain. For some reason, it wants the modulation to go both ways when you drag it on this parameter, but that's completely fine because I can give you guys another tip regarding that. Another one. Another one. Hold shift and alt on the keyboard and click on this little modulation icon. And this changes the type of the modulation from going in two directions or only one direction. So holding shift and alt, I will click on this icon. And as you can see, it became only unidirectional. I'll drag the level all the way down and the amount all the way up and you're Gucci. When you double click a knob in Serum, you're able to type in a context aware value for that knob. For example, on the cutoff, I'm able to type in a frequency. Well, on the volume, I'm able to type in a dB value. But what I recently learned is that when you double click a knob, instead of the context aware value that pops up, you're also able to type in a percentage. So for example, 50% on the level, it understands that. If I tell it 6 dB, it understands that. If I tell it 25%, it understands that. The next tip is for the people using Serum in FL Studio. I'm not aware if this is an issue with other DAWs. So if you're not in FL, you can probably skip ahead for this tip. The issue is by default, you won't get very smooth 60 FPS playback using Serum in FL Studio. Here's how to fix this. So with Serum loaded up in FL Studio, just hit this cog icon in the top left, this sub menu and hit fast idle and this will fix the issue. You need to save this as your new generator else when you reload the plugin, this will be off. In order to do this, hit your plugin database, navigate to generators, go in the top left and hit add to plugin database, flag as favorite. This means that now it remembers this option, hit okay. And now whenever you load up Serum, you will have this option ticked. Here's a before and after comparison. Very important to note this video is recorded at 30 FPS. On the 60 FPS display, the difference is massive. I'm a smooth operator, man. What can I say? I need my 60 FPS always. Now that we're in 60 FPS, we can move on to the next section. This is more of an advanced tip. By default, Serum smooths out automations a little so that when you're automating a parameter very sharply, there's no clicks, but sometimes you actually want that because it helps with the attack of the sound. Personally, I'd rather draw in the smoothness of the curve on the automation than have the plugin do it for me. Big shout outs to Nuwa for finding the solution to this problem. What you need to do to completely remove automation smoothing is navigate to your app data, roaming expert serum folder on your computer right click serum.cfg and open this with any text editor so this is what the file looks like when you open it navigate to automation smoothing and change this value in the brackets to one 
as you can read right here at zero, which is the default value, 100% smoothing, and one is equal to 1% smoothing, which is the minimum value in Serum. Save this file in your Gucci. This completely bypasses any automation smoothing in Serum. In the description of the video, I'll put the path for Windows and for Mac in order to find this file easily. Moving on to the next tip, a couple people have been asking me how I got this skin for Serum. It's called the Prometheum skin. And let's be honest, it just looks so much better than the default skin. Serum actually isn't that bad. I don't know if you've ever looked at the default Silent One skin. God damn, that's horrible. The skin was made by Lance Thackeray, which made the life-saving skins for Silent One back in the day. He also made another serum skin, and there's a couple of other dope serum skins available online. I'll show you how to download and install these later in the video. The first step to getting this amazing skin is actually to own a legit copy of Serum and keep it updated. If you're using an old cracked version, you're probably out of luck, but if you own a legit version, it's as simple as hitting the Serum icon, going into Skin, and navigating to Prometheum. Just click on the icon again, set current skin as default, so when you open up Serum again, you're on the Prometheum skin. If you find a dope third-party skin on the internet, it's actually super simple to install it. For example, I'm really looking forward to using this beautiful Windows 98 skin, so just download it, navigate to its folder, extract it, open up the archive, select the archive and copy it. Now there's a very handy shortcut in Serum under menu, show Serum presets folder. This is where all your presets and your skins are located, regardless if you're on Mac or on Windows. Now that you're in here, simply go to the skins folder and paste the skin that you downloaded. Now you need to close Serum and reload it. So open up a new instance of the plugin. And like we just did, Serum icon, skin, Serum 98. And if I wanted to keep this, which I'm not, I would go into skin, set current skin as default. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you learned something. I'm learning new stuff every day with this synth. It's just that great. If you got any other techniques, tips, tricks for Serum, don't hesitate to drop these in the comment section. I'm going to probably make a part two for this video, and I'm going to give you a shout out. So that's it, guys. Take it easy. Peace.